Hi Leo, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. Uh, this is going to be your spread for the next six months. Get that all the way out. For the next six months. Um, but as always, spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum. So the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Dig what I'm saying? So we've got overreaching themes, then we've got June, July, August, September, October, and November. Get some high quality H2O and well, let's get this party started. All right. So first up, don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in your sign. Next up. Emotions are running high. Super moon. And bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Okay. Don't let pride get in your way. Emotions are running high. And bring love into the situation. All right. So for the month of June, we have the Two of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Magician. Hmm. Hmm. Not choosing violence, I see. Two of Swords speaks of a decision that needs to be made. Um, yeah. The Six of Swords is the moving to comma waters card most of the time. Um, but what I'm getting here is peace. Finding peace. And not only wanting peace, but get this again. Not only wanting peace, but having the tools at your disposal that you need in order to make it so. And then for July, you've got the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. Oh, wow. And the Five of Cups. So we've got emotions are running high and you've got Royal fire clarifying that. Okay. All right. So this is something that's, you know, running hot and heavy. And with the five of cups, it's knowing that this, this kind of, this, this kind of energy from the king of wands and queen of wands, because it runs so hot knowing that it can't maintain at this pace. You won't be able to maintain at this pace. It's like moving at breakneck speed and knowing you're going to have to downshift sooner than later, which makes sense because you, you know, you've got this magician here. So that makes sense that you would in with the magician, and the Six of Swords, knowing with that, that makes perfect sense. Hmm. Yeah, see, with, um, with this Five of Cups, like a lot of the time, one of the common misconceptions is that the Five of Cups is a, you know, is a really sad card it's not a sad card it's uncomfortable it can be painful yes but it's akin to cleaning out your closet to make room for new things it's we don't we we aren't able to appreciate we aren't able to appreciate times of plenty unless we go through and learn from the lessons from a time of lack. And 
you it's it's time to pare down it's been ramping up for a while and now it's time to pare down bring love into the situation is clarified by the ace of cups the chariot and the king of pentacles okay all right all right so with the ace of cups it speaks of like a newer or the potential for a long-term love now whether this is within self or with someone else that depends on your situation but i i'm seeing this for you in this juncture as a solo as a solo thing now yeah i've heard all of the jokes about leo and no one loves leo like leo loves leo and blah 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 yeah that's great but we also know when it's time when the rubber gets down to the road how much of that self-love is good old-fashioned overcompensation hmm? so this love that I'm seeing is love that's being applied to you as the individual right and taking that love and applying that as almost like a salve to a burn it's cooling and refreshing and then with the chariot card you've got movement forward into an energy that is going to bring you a bountiful harvest with this king of pentacles bountiful so september you've got justice the knight of cups and the knight of swords don't let pride get in your way Yeah, now that you've pared down and cut through a lot of the fluff, you're feeling lean and mean. And you like this feeling with the Knight of Cups. It's that I love you passionate thing. That's happening here, but with the Knight of Cups, this is about, even though it's youthful and potent, it's also transformative because Knights are meant for actual work. They're meant to make change, right? They're meant to take a lot of the, they're, they're meant to be a catalyst for something bigger. And then with the Knight of Swords here, this is about taking in a lot of information. And even though you, yes, you've taken in a lot of information, you've learned a lot of stuff and you're feeling good about what it is that you've taken in it's it's giving yourself credit for knowing what you know so october we've got the wheel of fortune the ten of swords and the ace of cups yeah yeah, with this Wheel of Fortune here, mm -hmm. because you know, you know that things are moving into your favor and that you are getting past all of this painful business that came as a result of paring down from this fiery energy 
right? And so you know that this is coming to an end and that there's going to be new and fresh emotional content on the way. On the way. And then for November, we have the Magician, again, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. Once again, starting where we finish, both of these are the Magician. So with this energy of knowing that you can make you can make something out of nothing repeatedly. And not only repeatedly, but also have consistency along with it. You are learning how to manifest. You're learning how to align yourself with what spirit has for you and in, in learning how to tap into reaping the rewards as a result. And it's resulting in the two of cups. This is a sweet, sweet energy of knowing that you're moving in the right direction and that it feels right. It feels right. This is good. This is really, really good. <laughs> Bring love into the situation with the Two of Cups. All right, Leo, I see what I see how this is going. Okay. Okay, Leo, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. And until we meet again, please remember to be good to yourselves and to each other's. To each other's. Be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you next time. Bye now.